What's up, everybody? Hey, hey! Welcome we're, back. We're here. To a new episode of We Them Dudes. Oh, We Them Dudes? We Them Dudes. We are here. What's going on, fellas? As you can see by my lovely host, Random, he was on sabbatical and he looks great. Oh. He looks I, I great. didn't want to say anything. Yeah. <clears throat> this is why I'm holding Grogu to block my gut. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but as you know, I'm Toxin. And I'm Random. And I thought we would tackle this because it is by one of our favorite uh, authors. Of course, yes. And, and like it's timeless. Our, our his mother, my grandmother's favorite artist, uh, Arthur. And uh, yeah, dude. And we're speaking of Stephen King. Stephen King's The, the Boogeyman. Boogeyman. Let's get it. The thing that comes for your kids when you're not paying attention. You believe me? Don't you? And I only know one boogeyman. He got a white mask. He comes out in Halloween. My name is it's William Shatner's mask. Oh, point well, that uh, well, anyways, yeah. this one was this one was good. This was really, really good. This was really good. Uh, what I appreciate is, because I did, he, I will, I'm not going to mention who it was, but I have watched several reviews on it just to see what people think. And I did see a lot of people saying like they're kind of tired of Stephen King adaptions just because I guess there's so many of them and they're redoing some and they're really not tackling too too many new ones right until today there's, with this review. There's no there's no reality uh, no um, originality uh, originality that thank you man. there's no fucking originality out there anymore. But, but I don't, I'm not mad because I like we said we're both Stephen King's fans and I love his it but I also love the remake that they did the reboot of it and they're actually going to continue with it so I love it. So I'm anxious to see what other ones that they've already adapted, if they're going to redo them. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. since this one, oh, they, yeah. uh, since it's actually a short, a short story and it's the night shift. If you haven't got a copy of it, grab it. I believe it's on page like 96 or something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. The short story it is refreshing that it is a short story. It's not a full length book that they've been doing. Right, right. But the uh, short story is very different from here. I wouldn't, I would say the movie is more hardcore. It goes more into the, I wouldn't say debt, but it does tackle a few more issues that the short story doesn't actually do. Exactly, and, that, and like I said before, like you know, the director has to put the little spin on into it too, and plus, you, and plus, you got to put his uh, writings into live action, and I think you know they did pretty good so far. I was like skept spectacle, skeptical about doing that shit. <laughs> spectacle, spectacles, wallet and watch. Spectacles, testicles, wallet and watch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I have to agree with them. I I didn't. I was very nervous going into this. Uh, I didn't want them to ruin it. And honestly, I had the book, but I didn't know anything about the short story. I hadn't read it before until this. Right, right. Yeah, so I definitely went back and read it, and I liked it. I did enjoy it, but I love the twist that the director had made. Um, he and I love the I love the creature throughout the whole thing. So yes, right going into this world. We see this daughter who is actually uh, she, she comes uh, she's actually from Yellow Jackets. I remember that. Oh, okay. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. Yeah, I know you. The first season, not the right. second season. I haven't even made it to the second season, but uh, she's suffering a loss. She's actually lost her mother, and it seems that like she's not handling it too well. Her the little sister is actually handling it better. Well, and yeah. that's when we find out that her dad is actually a therapist. And the dad's a therapist, and he can't really talk to his kind of. What kind of therapist are you? you? Can't even talk to your kids and figure that shit out. But I understand, you know, well, the I mean, perspective, another perspective can. Somebody taught him, so he therapist has to seek therapy too. Uh, Taking on all their problems, they have to vent. Can't somebody. even figure it out. You know, they like once like, again the dad can't figure it out. Like Kemper and said in all these movies. Like Kemper said, you have to vent. You have to vent uh, and do your. No, I can't go that far. Be, but it, be but, a Kemper. Uh, have charisma. You need to vent. Alright. Be lovable. Be lovable. Not the killing part. Oh, oh, oh. Not the anyway. not, not the shit that he did, but he was very charismatic and a loving person. <laughs> but when I when I was when uh when I sat down, of course, I was like kinda like worried about it, first of all, because I know every before I even knew it was Stephen King connected connection to Stephen King and uh how all these movies kinda start good and then like just drop in the, at the end. Great this, build up falls off. Great build up falls off, and this one kind of kept me in. I was like, okay, and it kind of jumped me. It didn't rely on jump scares. It kind of get, 
it was like it was it was kind of speaking to me because I know all of us have a boogeyman at one point in our in our lives. We had a boogeyman we had to deal with underneath the bed, the closet, the guy who came home that one day. No, the nasty man down the road. <laughs> the night man. <laughs> the <laughs> night man. William Knife Man. Oh! Yeah. Uh, so and I, man, and I I just got connected with this one too, and you know seeing um, this basic story, the girl, you know, like we were saying, but. You know, uh, the, the monster wasn't shown, that you didn't see him as much. The eyes, what got me, I just want to say that. What the eyes, the eyes got me, what got me was like, the lighting. The way they chose and shot this and all their lighting points were amazing. Because the I want to speak, I want to jump ahead a little bit with it. But the part that got me was when she's playing a video game and it's, we've all done oh, this yeah. as You're sitting in a dark room, you're either playing a scary game or you're just playing a game in general. And you do certain movements, you shoot a certain target or something like that. Yeah. Special moves that you do lights up the screen. And I remember lighting up the whole room when this happened. Mm -hmm. So the fact that they threw it in there and she's just shooting one particular part just to light up the yeah. room to see certain parts. And obviously it doesn't last a long time. Awesome uh, setup, by the way. Yeah. And so that they keep doing it it's just like a to flash. see where it's at. Yeah. It's flash. And I'm like, dude, that is so relatable. Like how many times, I was talking to him about it earlier. How many times have we done that? Especially uh, doing a, a scary game. I remember in particular like Resident Evil or something like that. Or Last shooting, of Us. Or Last of Us. Shooting yeah. the gun over and over again just so we could have the flash to look around <laughs> before we continue. <laughs> so, exactly, exactly. I thought that I was though, that, part too. that it being the boogeyman and that it touched me as being a kid. My inner kid and what I used to right, do as a right, kid. Right. That was what got me. What did he say? Oh, I told and, remember you were saying something about trying to kill it and shit. Like you can't like... And, and, I'll think you know you want to overcome your shit, but you can't really kill this monster. What's I will that? say that uh, again, jumping ahead to this part. Uh, shout out to Vanessa Moon. She's actually the one who brought this up, and I really didn't realize it just because. Love your cakes. But I did tell her because, like, I told him too. It's been a long time since a movie has actually had me guessing. Exactly. Actually, we be calling them. And actually had me jumping out of my seat. It's usually her who jumps in her seats, and her jumping and her grabbing for me makes me jump. Because uh, so I could already see what's so coming. So he was grabbing for himself. I was grabbing myself. <laughs> no, it means two things. The But for this one, I, it did scare me. And I, I like that he said that it was people who, like, uh, th that it didn't rely too much on jump scares. Yeah. I've heard that through other reviewers that it was typical and that it relied too much on jump scares. I don't know. Psychologically, it got me. And the jump scares were needed, and it got me oh, through it with it. It, it, it wasn't like, it, like when I say that, it wasn't just relying on that. Yeah. That one part where those little fuckers throw her in the closet, and she like we had those moments where our older siblings threw us in the fucking closet, oh, and like and and and, and, and man, that and that damn thing is like right there. Yeah. And I'm just, I froze. I was like, dude, that is my biggest that fear. Really she true. couldn't open the deal, and she was like, I was trying. All our cousins who did that shit. Older brothers, young, you know. Uh, every good and then now we beat them up because they're older. Every good and bad story in my life starts with Thomas Perez. If, you know, if, you, if you know me, you know what that means. But yeah. We like, did it to him. Exactly. <laughs> so what he's going off of with the fear, we did not like, and again, Vanessa Moon is saying this, that it's not, we did not like the fact that they try to kill an entity, this this being of evil or fear or whatever you want to call it. Exactly. They actually tried to kill it. I want to stay at the house. Where it's the boogeyman. It's, it is like Michael Myers. It is a fear that it never goes away. There He's is in no here, fear. anime. Instead He's of, in here. Instead of overcoming <laughs> your fear, and that's how you beat the boogeyman, per se, your fear, your phobia, whatever. Instead of overcoming to it, communicating, or whatever, that's how you beat it. I We really didn't like that they exactly. tried to, it was a It was a figure. It was a life organism that you could kill, and that's how it is. And then, thus proving at the end, it didn't even happen because the closet yeah. door opened, and she did hear a voice. Could it be alive or could it not be alive? Oh man, you never know. And the whole moon thing with the light, man. I mean, it was. It had some good. It was it some was good. Really it was. It had some moments. I love it carrying it through the through the movie and seeing the families that it affected. But that too, like it being everywhere at once, does show. Like yeah, it's a it's a figure that was touching them. Yeah. It, was, it was hurting them, but. It was everywhere at once, so it could yeah. be in all in the and psychological. It, and it manipulated their voices and shit. Like, in the movie, I, like that was creepy. I love that I because like, growing up too, with we, our fears and shit that we saw growing up, we would hear our mom's voice, but it wasn't. It was nothing. 
And it's just I your, love that. It's your brain, and it's just your brain hearing some crap. Dude, when I heard it, just ignore it voices. and don't go toward it, man. I don't know. Speaking in voices Believe your was voice fucking shit. amazing. I love that they added yeah. that touch. Like, it can mimic it really anybody, good. dude. It's really good. He looked creepy. He looked... Exactly. When you finally saw him... When you finally saw him, and I love that because that was very... <laughs> Like, I don't want to say 90s, but a very traditional horror where it waited to the event to actually give you a good, clear look of the of the monster. And that, that's nostalgia for me. That's what gave it another thumbs up for me. I got a question. What was what was he sucking out of her face? Because it wasn't like blood, but it wasn't her force, her life force. But it was something. I don't we, know. We were speaking about this uh, earlier. The COVID um, vaccine, maybe? <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Um, the... I didn't know if it was her soul. Yeah. I didn't know. I was like thinking, from uh, Skidwalkers. I, was I don't know if it was if it was the but it soul. Was like, it, it was like the life force, her fear, whatever. It could have been anything, and it was but it, it was black, and it's you usually the like the, what kept us guessing for me. It was black. Yeah. Was it was black, and it was like okay, what is this? Because every time it's like a life force or it's the soul it or whatever, it's always light and it's bright and it's like getting absorbed by the darkness. So for it to be coming out liquidy and it coming out dark i really didn't know what it was, it was good. and it was good. i liked that it it looked like a wendigo to me if you ever the remember, wind i forget what the game is called but it was one of the more interacting games where you had to decide it was a uh, oh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, until dawn until dawn it looked Reference like one of those dawn, bro. yeah if i recommend that game have still have to beat it to this day still but, have to beat it, bro. but it it reminded me of that of those kind of wendigos and the you know nowadays depiction of wendigos that's what it reminded me of but what got me too was his mouth. I thought it was his sewn shut, but it was actually fingers. Like, it was a it. hand within a face. So when it came out to actually absorb whatever it was, like absorbed, a it was like a person inside of it. So I thought oh, it was Oh yeah, crazy. oh my God. So yeah, yeah it was, it's this scared is the movie, man. but it's a fear within a fear. That's what I took it as. Hey, it scared shit out of me, man. Yeah, like it's it, always. It turned a man, it turned a, a, a man white. Oh my God. <laughs> Turn, wasn't that Winston? <laughs> Say some shit to make it turn man white. God, black man white. Oh, what it is? is this? something like that. I'll find that quote. But it, I have seen shit that'll turn you white. It's a, but it was for me. That means like there's a fear within a fear. So like yeah, I fear this boogeyman. I fear this entity. But what, what does that boogeyman represent? And it's a fear of, like not confronting the mom's memory, not letting mom go because I don't want to forget. And then the dad too. I like that he finally stepped up with his little piece of shit cakes and he was getting hey, thrown over hey. left and right i was already like finally a fucking yeah. another grown man alpha dude had to be thrown around where we where we where's those alpha guys at anyways yeah but anyways he had the little kicks <laughs> and then he finally had a handle and went to went to work on it did good yeah, yeah. except for, yeah when he was he was he was getting the life force he came with the broomstick or some shit and it was pretty dope i like i, I like that guy too like he was a pretty good actor um oh yeah this is a guy from devil who, the elevator he's a detective that's who i recognize him yeah from. He's good. Oh, and he's yeah. also uh, he's also uh, Zaz. And I don't know from the girls who would, I don't know who the girls and yeah I don't know who the girls were. I don't know who he, who he was, but yeah I didn't know. It was I really good, didn't man, know anybody like said, in this one besides the yellow jacket girl. But I don't even know her name. But she's and, pretty cool. And usually I talk like in the movies because I had you know my friend and then they had the couples and shit. And you know I'd be talking clowning, but it actually had me you know engage. Yeah, I was I was in there with. That's it. why for me it gets two thumbs up. Like, well, yeah. Ten. There you I go. recommend it. It's uh, it was a good movie. I hope they that opens the door for other short stories for him to be adapted. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the big stories, and I would like to see some, you know, done, so redone. But there's a lot that you shouldn't fucking touch. I just want to point. That yeah, out. you can't touch the the ridge nest, but you can do like the the, or the graveyard graveyard shift. Or uh, the other one, the Jacob's ladder. What's his name? Jacob. No, 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 he did the dead uh, dead zone. Dead zone. That was a good one. Oh, I know they did a show, but I know that I think they're in talks for a reboot of Silver Bullet, and that one's very near and dear to my heart. Ooh. That was actually my first Creature of the Night episode, so if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. I might redo it yeah. because I'm not. That also with was it. the first one he did when he got a full erection watching a scary movie. He was like, there's no porn in here. And it was a full erection. And I was hooked ever since. When the so, world came out, and the, 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 the bridge. Never mind, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. thank Lydia Costa for that one. <laughs> I was like, yeah, corrupted me at a young age. But yeah, dude, I I like it. I highly recommend it. Even if I think movies are shit, I recommend it. Just take like, if I don't like it, doesn't mean you, you don't like it. There've been a lot. There's, There's been, been a lot. lot, but that's why 
I was very happy with it. We had to do this with the guy. I was like, we have to do this with the guy. Uh, anything latest coming out, I'm going to tackle pretty soon. He's going to have his oh, channel uh, up and going. Yeah, we do that. As you can uh, see, he's having his office worked on. I'm so. going, yeah, we're building, we're building, baby. Uh, Hills is on, coming up on Hulu the 29th, the 28th of this month, uh, July. We're, we're coming up July, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's coming up. Uh, Hills, it's a pretty good little show, Hulu Originals. I, I've like never it. heard of it. I don't know what that is. It's wrestling, backyard wrestling. Oh, Hills. Hills. Yeah, what okay. Say? It just sounded like you said Hills. Like, what the hell are you? Yeah, you're right. But yeah, guys, so yeah, we'll. We'll see you at your house. I mean, at the movie. Oh, dude, what the? Oh, that was the other show. That was the other show. Oh, shit. That was the other show. Stay Rebellious, guys. Later.